All right, what we have here today is 2003 Honda CRV, and we have drivability issue. There is a code P0341 camshaft position sensor. So with that code, a lot of times it's actually the timing chain that has stretched. So we're gonna turn the crank and set to top dead center and see how it looks. So what we're gonna do now, we use this ratchet, 19 mil, 19 mil, and through the wheel well, right there, through that hole there, through that hole, we'll, okay, there we go. We'll get our, uh, through that hole, we'll turn the, the crank till we get the top dead center. We got our, timing set and you can see here the timing is off those marks are supposed to line up but it's off by half a tooth you can see down there a timing mark on the crank pulley lines up with the arrow on the timing cover the mark on the cam gear here does not line up therefore our chain uh, is no good and will need replacing so the chain has stretched and it's out of timing so we confirmed with the customer that uh, we're gonna go ahead with this job uh, ordered the timing chain and the extra parts needed for it the uh, drive belt no good so we're gonna be replacing that as well so in the meantime we can uh, start taking it apart get everything set up uh, get ready for our parts and get going on this job okay so how are we gonna get started with this? We have it set on top dead center, so we gotta start move, moving uh, things. I think we're gonna start with the drive belt. So the drive belt here, we're gonna remove the drive belt. Um, crank pulley will have to come off. Engine mount, the bracket will have to come off. The solenoid, this VTC solenoid, that, and then we can continue with let me see yeah we'll start taking those apart and then uh we'll continue if anybody watched our video from our, the accord uh, belt drive belt replacement this looks very similar this is basically the same thing so we have our tensioner down here That enough. Oh, there you go. So the belt's loose. There you go. Let that off. Oh, belt is off. Coming off. So I usually try not to remove the uh, power steering and fluids. Hoses, that way fluid doesn't get all over the place, but sometimes you just have to, just cause it makes it that much easier. Whoop, now I got power steering fluid leaking everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try to cap that off somehow. Cap it off and plug it up. So does this, nope, that doesn't work, but will this work? Nope. that work? No, nope. but it will for here. So I'm gonna jam this in here just to plug it up that we don't have fluid leaking everywhere. Too much fluid. And then see I have this assortment of little caps and stuff left over. So I'm gonna try to find something to plug that up. Oh is this the same? No that was for the top. That will work there. Let's see this guy will work here. There we go. That kind of works. There we go. We jam that in there to plug it up. Now we don't have fluid leaking everywhere. So down here, we've taken the wheel off and the cover on the side there. That way it gives us uh, 
room to work on. That we'll have to eventually take it off when you're working on the chain. But we took it off earlier uh, when we were l checking the chain out just to give it that extra bit of room. So now we're down here. We're going to reach down here to remove the belt. And that's our belt. Come out. So let's go back up top. He's stubborn. Doesn't want to come out. All right, it's out. And check out the condition of our belt. Our belt is all cracked up. Um, the belt's really wet and greasy from all the oil from the power steering pump. That's 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 all. It's not because of the engine or anything. Yeah, can you see how the belt's cracked? So we're gonna replace the belt as well. We ordered a new one. Okay, next we're gonna take out the engine mount and then the bracket. That'll give us room to work around here. Um, this section, the mount, the mount and the bracket need to come off because it's around the timing cover, timing chain cover. This is the view of the car, uh, the engine out of the car. Um, because the location of the engine being in the car, it's really difficult to, to be able to film. So what I'm going to try to do is save you guys bore the details, the boring details of removing the bolts. I'm going to try to count how many bolts you'll need to remove. Um, so there's this one right there. There's a one bolt that's for the timing chain cover. Let's see. Let's count. It's one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Uh, there's seven along the side there. Let's see, there's one underneath, two, uh, three. Yep, there's three under, under the oil pan. And then up on the side there, there's one. Let's see, you see in there, one. One, two, three, um, four, four, there's one behind there, four, um, four, and five, so there's five, so there's five on the side, three on the bottom, seven on the side, and one right there in the middle. So 317, um, you have 16 bolts, 16 10 mil bolts that you have to remove. So we're going to do that on the CRV and then we'll come back. Um, the CRV doesn't have this hose. This hose does not, this hose isn't on that motor. So you won't have to worry about removing that. So you just have to remove all the bolts on the side here. The seven bolts here, the three underneath on the oil pan, and the five up along the side, and the one right there is what you'll need to remove to get this timing cover off. Oh, there you go. It's coming. Oh yeah. Milwaukee M18 for the win. If you notice, the keyway is actually out of place now. That should be at the top. So what we're going to try to do is turn it back. Make sure that we have it lined up. Turn it back to top dead center, basically. Should be able to turn it by hand. Well, actually, might not be able to turn it by hand. Oh, actually, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see. So we're going to check up top and make sure the lines are lined up. Yep, so the lines are lined up. We're good. So this crank pulley can come off now. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. That's very oily. So we're going to be replacing that crank seal as well. Something to take notice. This key, do not lose this key. 
this key goes into that spot right there, which goes back right into the crank pulley there, uh, the crank there. So put this key in a safe place, don't lose it. Continue with removing the bolts along the sides. We've removed the ones on the bottom, so the three. So there were seven along the side, three along here, five up along the side there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those bolts. I may skip forward just to save you the boring details of removing the bolts. Some are accessible, like these ones are pretty accessible by tool. You know. So you would just get it out, but uh, the other ones you may have to, well, take notice, see, this one's a little different. Okay, here's the difference of the two bolts. So the lower, uh, the one on the left here, there's a little sh collar to that bolt. And the one on the right obviously doesn't have it. So this one with the collar is the one for the two l lower bolts on the timing chain cover on the two corners. We're gonna remove this uh, solenoid here, this actuator. Let's see if you can get it with the light. Oh, there you go, that's a little better. Okay, so I'll clip this plug. It's a 10 mil bolt. So there's two bolts in here. One is for the timing chain cover, and then there's the one for the actual solenoid itself. Okay. All right, there you go, the bolt's out. Take notice, this is a different looking bolt, not a normal looking bolt. So you're gonna have to put this one back into place. Okay. All right. Okay, that's out. So now we're gonna continue with removing all the, the rest of the bolts for the timing chain cover. All right. Okay, we gotta access that bolt right down there. Um, it's really tight. You only have about a two inch gap and I find what the best thing to use is actually a quarter inch ratchet with the shallow 10. So I got the snap-on ratchet that's pretty long. It's about 12 inches long. And uh, it's a good reach down there, especially even with the bend. So I could bend around the bend around the frame, whatnot. So you can see. see reach right down there perfectly. Now we could just get that in there. There you go. So you'll have to find the the tools to do the job in me. Um, a quarter inch set is definitely very uh, helpful here. Uh, three eighths sets may or may not fit. And uh, you'll need longer uh, ratchets just for the extra extension for that extra reach. So, air tools are probably not that easy to get in here. Uh, actually, I could probably get a quarter inch air ratchet in here, but he may, may be difficult. May not fit very well. Okay, as we said, okay, as we said, there's seven bolts on this side, there's five here, three for the oil pan, and then the one at the top by that solenoid, by that actuator. So we got all our bolts out now. We're about ready to take the time belt cover, timing chain cover off. Um, something to take notice. Look how clean this engine is on the inside. Other than that little bit of marking there. This is relatively clean. This motor's got 400 
over 400,000 kilometers on it and the internals is very clean so this customer um, is very diligent on oil changes and uses synthetic oil so you can see that after 400,000 kilometers this motor still looks very clean something uh, to take notice I like to do is put my bolts in a box so I keep a lot of my old parts boxes so this is a box from a brake pad so just to keep them in that way it's nice and organized and we don't lose anything okay so we're just tapping with a hammer right here and we're gonna try to get this as you pry it should come pretty easily. I mean, there is a little bit of resistance from the um, the, uh, the silicone or the gasket, but it should come fairly easy. So you shouldn't have to use too much force. If you're prying too hard, then you probably missed a bolt or two. So, okay, so this is pretty much off. And we just gotta wiggle it to get it off from, break the gasket for, ta-da. Okay, let's see. Let's get a cover off. There you go. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Alrighty, so that's off. As I said, that sensor stays on. This cover can stay on. Wow, this uh, cover's really oily. So it probably has oil leak from the valve cover gasket and whatnot. So we're gonna get out of. We're gonna change out the crank seal clean this up time to change covers nasty okay Ooh, this dirty is doing a lot of cleaning uh, we'll have to reseal this so I'm just gonna clean off this excess of old sealant. A little trick I like to use, it's a uh, 3 8 extension, and I'll just tap around this edge here. There we go, just like that. Ta-da! There's our new seal. Okay, there's our timing chain tensioner. So we're just gonna unbolt this. Alrighty. That's one loose. Okay, that's one bolt. Okay. Oh, here he goes. The chain. The chain just let go. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's our timing chain tensioner. All right. Here's our timing chain tensioner. This guy's got four hundred thousand on it. So we're gonna be replacing that. Okay, there is our chain. There's our chain. Here's our chain. Okay, that's the guide the tensioner pushes up against. Okay, so we just have to change. Okay, tall ball. Okay. 
Look at that. That's our chain guy. It's 400,000. Just a little bit of wear here. Barely anywhere. There you go. That's one side out. Let's go at the bottom. Woo! Okay. So, 14401R40A01. Let's open this up. Pull our pack. Package. Ooh. There's our new timing chain. So let's compare. So here's our new one. Here's our old one. Let's compare to see. That's enough to throw your timing off. See the difference? So, yeah. There's our stretch time about timing chain. We're gonna get going with our new chain. I'm gonna get this looped around. Um, there's actually markings on here. See that? There's marks. So those actually line up with um, with your gears. Try to get that on here. Okay. So. Okay. So there, there's the first mark. That matches there. And then we'll move over to here to adjust it. Okay, so that one's lined up now. That one's lined up. And this one's lined up. Notice the slack. So once we turn the turn the cam, cam gears and line up the marks, line up those marks, the tension will be will be correct. So we gotta turn this guy to give us so we're gonna turn the crank the cam so that tightens up tightens up the chain so we come to the bottom here on the crank you'll see that mark and then that one gear that one gear to the left with that little dot that's where we have to line up with so we're trying to line that up now all right there so we got that lined up we have the chain set up in place, and now we're gonna put the new tensioner on. Okay, we got the new tensioner in place, so we're just gonna bolt that down. Before we pull the pin, let's double check. Our markings are lined up. Uh, yeah. So that dot on top of the crank pulley on the uh, that crank timing gear is lined up. Let's take a look up top. The dots lined up. What that side? Yeah, the dots lined up. Are the gears lined up? The marks on the gear. Yeah, the gears are lined up. So everything's lined up. So let's go and uh, pull that grenade pin. There's that grenade pin. So that's the pin we're gonna pull. This pin, we pull this pin and release the tension on the, there you go. That tightens up the tension on the timing chain. So we're gonna go back up. Everything should be tensioned up now. So chain's tight now. Chain's tight. What we do is do a rotation and make sure that the gears all line back up after we do the rotation. So what we're gonna do is temporarily place the crank pulley back on and then use that to give us okay, so there's that um, the keyway for the crank crank pulley. Put that in there. So we're gonna put the crank pulley back on temporarily so it can help so we can turn turn the motor. So let's put the crank bolt on. Okay, now we're just gonna turn the motor clockwise.
timing marks up top line up again. So that mark there lines up. Those lines line up. And that lines up. So we're gonna take off the crank pulley and make sure those marks line up on the crank pulley as well. forget the key that dot on the top of the crank gear on um, the timing gear yep that dot lines up so that dot lines up with that arrow at the top there so yep our timing is good now and we can start putting everything back together so we got some sealant here what is this it's beta black rtv silicone so it's gasket maker Make sure you get enough gasket silicone on the bottom because this is where the oil pan is and it's constantly soaked with oil. So, sealant there, all along the edge, along the gasket. See all that oil there? So we gotta make sure that's all clean. cover timing chain cover going back on again okay. oh just like that we reinstall all our timing cover bolts all right no bolts left over that's the box we used to put all the bolts for the timing chain cover so that's all bolted back together all the um, the bolts for the timing chain cover. So what next? Next, we're gonna install the actuator. Install the actuator. Um, plug everything back up. Get the engine bracket mounted, engine mount, and continue from there. I go back in. It goes in this way. If you have trouble seeing the uh, the bolt, I like to keep an old car mirror to see. That way I can look in there and see. There you go. You can see the hole for the bolt, the actuator. So we got the bolt lined up and we got it in there. All right, so a nice little trick. Just use the old car mirror. That gives us enough clearance for this bolt, that lower bolt. So, there's the lower bolt. Get that back in there. If you recall, one of these bolts was longer than the other. You guys remember where it goes? This side of the bracket is a little narrower than this side of the bracket. So the shorter one goes on the inside. longer one goes on the front here. Get your mount, you can go back in here. We can get our mount in now. There you go. These three nuts for it. That one goes on the mount bracket. This will go on the rubber mount, and that goes on the bracket again. So this one goes here.
So remember, there's this key that has to go back in this slot here. Okay, goes back in there. And then a crank pulley can go back on. Okay, there. Put a bolt in. Crank pulleys back in. We got our valve cover gasket set here, so we're gonna replace it. So, we got these grommets in here. These are for the spark plugs. I'm gonna pop those out. So, you just get a flathead screwdriver and we just reach in there and just pry it out. See, these are all like all stiff. They're all old and dried up, so they're really stiff. Uh, let me see. So just to compare, you can feel it's really soft. These are just really hard. So time to replace them. And they go back in. See how it's kind of beveled, and then this side see the difference so this beveled end pops back in here this way not this way this way that way the spark plug tubes can slip into here so oops. if you take a look there's actual lip you can see how it's shiny there there's a lip for the uh, seal to sit, so it'll bottom out if you push against it. Got a little rubber mallet. You just do just tap around. Alrighty. Let's take a quick check, see if they feel okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Last but not least is our gasket. Uh, you gotta take a look in the gasket, see how it fits. This is slightly different. So this edge will be starting here. So We're gonna put a little bit of sealant right in this corner here. So this one little corner, and as well as this corner. That way it helps with the sealing. Um, the rest of the surfaces are just flat, but right here in the corner, that's where the, the there may be a possible gap. So we just put a little bit of sealant there. So we got our new grommets now. Let's we'll put these new grommets on. See how shiny they are? Okay, we're putting the power steering back together now. Don't forget to unplug this since we plugged it up. And now, I gotta get this guy out of here. Ooh. 
All right. Don't forget to take that plug back out. New belt. This is the drive belt. What's that? Can you see it? 7 PK 1730. 1730. That is our new belt. 7 PK 1730. Alrighty. Because our old one. Here's our old one. Old one is severely cracked up. And as you can see, the new one looks much better. So let's get this belt on. Okay, we got our belt on. I have to say it's a little tighter than the Accord. So it takes some uh, finessing to get this in. All the nuts and bolts are done. Okay, let's see if we can fire this up. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I uh, hope the video helps you. Um, if you uh, feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I know it's a bit long. Uh, I try to be as in-depth as possible. Um, so like and subscribe. If you dislike, please leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. You know I'm mobbing with the D-R-E